Okay, Lisa. Noon. Let's go. Yeah. We are ready. All right. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us today. Um, so what we're going to do today is, and I've had many requests for a repeat of this, is basically each of our routines of how we take our supplementation. Um, we've done this in the past, but we've also added a handful of supplements since. So we will continue to you know, do new ones as we incorporate a few more. We'll keep going through our routine and how we incorporate it in. Now keep in mind, by no means is this the one set way. Um, ours are pretty similar, but it doesn't need, mean that yours has to be. So I'll probably talk about a little bit of variations that you could do, but bottom line is, Finding a routine that works for you, mm -hmm. finding a routine that works into your schedule to make sure that you are consistent in taking your supplements every day. That's the biggest goal. Um, I mean, that really goes with anything in life. You need to take, um, you know, examples from others, but make it work for yourself. Okay. So I'm going to start basically like how I wake up first thing in the morning. Um, I get up pretty early, uh, four-ish, 4.30. And if it's a methylene blue day, because I take mine every other day my methylene blue, I will take it first thing in the morning. Um, I like that because it really lights up my brain. I also like it if it were to ever interfere with sleep because of kind of the brain stimulation it provides, I'm taking it first thing. And I also, uh, about mid morning, I usually get into my sauna. Um, so I like the methylene blue to also be in my system. So then when I can get in the sauna, I get those enhanced benefits. Okay, so that's one. Um, then I'm going to go to my workout. So I make a concoction for my pre-workout. So I do combine our newest E3 and the essential aminos, as well as our creatine HMB. That is what I use, making sure I have it all. Yes, that is what I use as my pre-workout. Um, a little variation here that you can do. E3 definitely before, because the caffeine in it, especially if you're working out in the earlier part of the day, the caffeine and the beta alanine are just so great for the pre-workout, but you could also take these two after your workout, good combination, um, you know, because there also are essential aminos in the E3, um, but putting them both together does not mean you're getting too much of it. Again, each one has unique properties. The E3 has several added ingredients, the essential aminos, we always talk about that there's the um, arginine, citrulline, glutamine, all really great things um, for you know exercise. And this doesn't have to be taken for exercise. Okay, so there's that. Go to my workout, I come home and it's time to eat. That's where I take our protein powder, mixed with our collagen peptides, super greens, and our beloved coffee. So together, I don't know if you can see them all, but these four, make up my morning smoothie. Um, I add in, of course, some fruit, uh, a little avocado, stuff like that, so I can make it more of a meal. Um, so now that I have food in my belly, now it's time to go and start to take my first round of my real, my the um, capsules, okay? And basically it's our daily essentials pack. So I will take, I usually take two uh, D3, because I like my levels higher. I will take two of our multivitamins. And I will take two of factor four because I also take four of these a day. So again, I have our D3, our um, multivitamin and our factor four. So I take that right after I eat. Then the day goes on, I have lunch. Then after lunch, I will come back and I will take two more of the factor four. If you are one that is sensitive to uh, the multivitamin, it is okay if you split the dose, one after breakfast, one after lunch. But a lot of times, like you want to be taking these with food because a lot of them are fat soluble vitamins, which means you absorb more and better if you have food in the system. Um, and also sometimes the multivitamin can cause maybe GI upset, the B, the B vitamins can make you nauseous. So it's always helpful to have food in your belly. Okay, so then midday, sometimes usually around like three o'clock, that's when I go for my super reds, just a little bit boost of energy, non-caffeinated, right? So it's not going to do anything interfering with sleep, but I combine that with another dose of my essential aminos because I'm very big about getting few doses in a day and dose number two of my collagen peptides because I like two of those a day. And then it comes bedtime, mm -hmm. right? Have I gotten there? Yes. Then it comes to bedtime. I will take two of the magnesium before bed, 
and I will also take a dropper full of the 1500 milligram CBD, hold it under my tongue for about 30 seconds before swallowing, just helps increase the absorption. So that's basically our supplements here. And of course our new uh, essential oils. Typically I'll tell my, my daily use of it, where it was stuck. Okay, so the peppermint. I always use this as my breath mint. Um, we just did the training on it too, is you know how you can use it, the aromatherapy to waken yourself up. So peppermint stays in my handbag because I'm using it all the time as a breath of fresh, um, breath, fresh. breath of fresh mouth. <laughs> uh, where do we have um, lemon? I do love to put the lemon in my water. I really also love diffusing the combination of peppermint, lemon, and lavender. Very, very nice. Uh, the immunity blend, I will do a lot of times in a diffuser for like purifying um, the air, cleansing it. I also, if anybody is getting sick or the kids say that all these people are sick in their class, I start diffusing this like crazy and I'll use a carrier oil and I rub it on the insides of everybody's feet. <laughs> Just an easy way. You could do the back of the neck too. Lavender, always diffuse at night before bed. And I also use like to use a carrier oil. Uh, my girls, our girls have made a few spray bottles with a little bit of water and essential oil that they spray around, which is great. Um, the frankincense, uh, we both are pretty keen on this, using this in a carrier, well, the carrier oil or Jehovah oil or a facial oil. And we add this into it, helps with the lines, wrinkles, dark spots. Great stuff. I mean, there's so many uses for these. I'm just telling you how I literally incorporate they incorporate them every day. And then my tea tree oil, I love doing it with my laundry. So I've been putting it a little couple drops into the washer, but I also put it on my dryer balls for when I put everything in the dryer. So pretty much how I incorporate every single one of our supplements into the daily routine. So it's a lot not to get overwhelmed by it, but again, you need to find what combination works for you. And the fact that a lot of these supplements can be combined together makes it so much easier. If you want to throw as much as you can in a smoothie and, and get it done, if that's the way that works for you, then do it. Like I said, I have, you know, four of these that I put in, in my smoothie. So it makes it very easy. Um, and then the three combination for the pre-workout. Okay. Ryan, I feel like that was a mouthful and take it away. All right. I'm up. So <laughs> look, like anything else it requires a plan. Hopefully you have an, you know, organized your thoughts and that way it becomes much more easier and more manageable. It does start the night before. You, Lisa said she gets up super early, but then planning starts the day before. So please watch our sleep optimization Zoom to talk so you can learn a little bit more about setting that day up because that's, of course, uh, what your focus really should be. So uh, we'll start first thing in the morning. Upon waking, I'm a heavy water drinker. I make sure I consume, I don't know, probably 40, 40 ounces of water, probably first thing if that. I mean, And then I'm an E3, so I like E3 first thing in the morning. Fold it Wait, into three, quarters. Oh, blue. sorry, methylene blue. <laughs> methylene blue. I'll fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then put it on the back of the tongue and use water. And that way you're not getting a terribly blue stained mouth. So that's really the start of the day. Then prior to uh, the gym, I actually, you know what? I will do coffee or E3. I will do one or the other. I'm really sensitive to caffeine. So E3 or coffee. Uh, but prior to like 15 to 30 minutes before the gym, and there's really no real good reason why I use creatine before I do. I can use it after, like she said, but creatine, amino, the essential aminos, and sometimes the super reds. Super reds is actually a great pre-workout because of all the nitric oxide precursors that are in that product as well. So that's before the gym, that's before your exercise, that's before really, even if you're not working out, that's still a great routine. And then uh, right coming home, um, when I break my fast, I'm typically going for the protein. So I always will do the protein, uh, the collagen, the greens, because Lisa does a pre-mix. She has a whole bunch of these things already pre-measured out. And so that'll go into a smoothie. But because I like to chew food, uh, I also then will have some breakfast, whether it's a hard-boiled egg or some avocado. And so that it would be sort of the morning break the fast. And then because I'm eating, same as Lisa, I am doing the multivitamin because of the fat-soluble elements to it. I am doing the vitamin D3 because of the way it plays in the sleep-awake cycle. And it, again, is fat-soluble. I also am doing my first two soft gels of Factor Four. I take six a day. So two uh, with the first meal. Then I'm good. I'm, I'm, like, I'm staying on my water intake. Uh, you know, I'm taking frequent breaks from the desk or the, or the computer. And then by lunchtime, 
I'm, I'm doing my second round of factor four. So another two soft gels, then I start my magnesium. So now I'm doing my first of two capsules of magnesium. I do that with lunch and then we're good. And so we're moving in through snacks throughout the day. I always tell people like really an easy, an easy way to substitute a sugary beverage is to try the aminos or try the reds or do a collagen or even something else, but like a tea or something like that. But um, so what I do for a snack is I'll do the reds plus aminos. Uh, and then of course, right, usually that time of day is when I'll use a peppermint essential oil because that video we did about making it put on your neck and breathing it in deep, it's so invigorating. It's real great pick me up. So no need for caffeine, you have peppermint essential oil. Um, all right, so that's like, that's the snack in the afternoon. Now I'm rolling into dinner. I've got my last magnesium and my last set of factor four. So two more factor four. So that's six for the day. Uh, and then after dinner, um, I tell you, it's funny. You won't believe this, but I use the protein for a dessert. Not every day, but most days. So just one scoop in water. Um, you can make it more fancy if you want to, but that's that works for me. It's really, really delicious. And so that's my, or, or I'll do collagen because I think collagen can be taken more than once a day. Same with the protein, same with the essential aminos. Um, yeah, the collagen can be really great, especially if you're just starting collagen. You can try that loading dose for 30 or 60 days where you're taking it two or three times a day. Uh, and then bedtime, um, essential oils. I, I love what she said too, but using the lavender. Um, and of course, I like the frankincense for the skincare routine. And that really wraps up sort of the, the product side of my day. I mean, it seems like a lot, but it's not. As a matter of fact, I know right away if I miss something, I get rushed. Yep, I did miss something, so. Right. So if you'll notice, I feel like the biggest difference between our supplementation is really magnesium. Um, oh. I struggle with sleep. So everything I do revolves around how to perfect my sleep. Um, so I, that's why I always take my two. And Ryan likes to split it up for just the, the daily stress response, right? So it kind of starts it in the late afternoon and then and then before bed. So, um, you know, again, you've got to find what works for you and don't look at all this and think, oh my gosh, this is so much. How do I get it all in? Because when you listen to us talk about it, 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 it fits all in very easy, but you have to have it planned out. Use your, you know, the Poe container. Oh, so yeah. everything's already in there. Like I have one that's, that's morning, um, afternoon, dinner, and night, and mm -hmm. just kind of splits it all up. It's a, you know, it's a little a section of four. Makes it very easy that now I don't even have to think about it. I just know my schedule and I know what mixes with what and how I do it and how it works. And that way you can be as healthy as you can be. Yeah, there was, a, goal. there was a question. Can you take E3 and Super Reds at the same time? Yes, you can. That's actually done quite a bit. Um, the cool thing about the E3, you know, if you alternate coffee or you like coffee, um, you don't have to, here's what I will tell you. The E3, because it has caffeine, about 125 milligrams of caffeine, mm -hmm. you really want to make sure you're not consuming that past 11 a.m. If, if you do have that normal bedtime cycle between 8 and 10 p.m. But be careful with that. That's a really big contributor to poor sleep if you consume caffeine late in the day. Right. So, but I love it as a pre-workout, but or if you're just not working out that day, just for the focus and the, and the enhanced, you know, kind of mental aspect of it. Um, Right. Super great. Super really great. Efficient. Yeah. Right. So again, you know, two, I allow myself two caffeinated drinks a day and always trying to keep them in the first half. That's why pre-workout, I'm usually taking this about five o'clock in the morning. And then I, when I make my after my morning shake, that's, you know, the coffee, my second caffeinated drink. And that's anywhere between 10 and, or I should say nine and 11. When I decide to break my fast, that's when I get the second, but then by that's 11 o'clock, no later, I've had my two caffeinated drinks. I know it's not going to interfere with my sleep. So there's, there's definitely ways to, to get it all in. Jenny asks if you can use frankincense directly on the face of the carrot oil. I do. You can spot check yourself and see how your skin reacts to it. I put it directly on my age spots and some under my eyes and around my face. And I, I love it. But I I only do that like sometimes. But I always use the, uh, the jojoba, like she says, as a carrier at night for like that full coverage of the face. Right. Just remember, every body's right. different. Every skin is you know, everybody's skin is different. So just find a little, you know, spot to test, maybe like a little dot on the inside of your wrist and just see, because this, your inside of the wrist is also a sensitive area. So you'll kind of know if you're going to be sensitive or if you should use the carrier oil with the frankincense. Yeah. Nancy wants to know when the best time to take creatine is. You want to try that? Yeah. So, I mean, of course, if working out, taking it in conjunction with working out, that's not necessary. But again, if working out, weren't we just reading something too, talking about post supplementation with it also combining it with some type of like carbohydrate source. 
So just maybe like right after your workout, before you're going to eat food, right? Mm -hmm. So then it, it's all there. But if you're not working out, I mean, any time a day, you can take it. So beneficial for brain health. Like right. that's what we keep pushing because right. you know, it's not just about working out. So many brain health benefits of creatine. Yeah, just remember you're replenishing the stores. Um, so there's a storage basically facility in, in the cells for, for creatine. So timing matters, but it's not that important. But yeah, there are- Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, I use loving. I use D3 for the first time this week. It's an amazing product. I'm hooked. Yeah, me too. Love it. It's Tell awesome. me about it. I mean, we are getting some really great testimonials on it, which is so cool. Love hearing it. Um, I don't right, know so yeah. any other questions. Yeah. yeah so, um, if you guys do have further questions about routine, please email me Lisa at livegood.com. Uh, but this will get up on our YouTube channel. So again, um, you can easily share this with others, use it for yourself to help everybody get on a nice, well-balanced routine of all of our live good supplements. So there was a question here. So oh. is there, yeah, is it taking all these supplements too much for a 71 year old? Like Lisa said earlier, um, you know, what works best for you, right? I mean, to each their own in a way, right? So figure out what it is that works best for you. But as far as the way they're designed to, they can all work together in harmony and there's absolutely no issue with it. Right. I think, you know, as we age, we actually need more. Sure. Okay. But our bodies are also more sensitive. Right. So uh, I would just say, start small, get you, let your body get adjusted. So maybe you start with the daily essentials pack and factor four, and then your body's adjusted and you're like, okay, I'm going to throw in super reds and super greens, get my antioxidant load little by little, put them in. And that way, say you were sensitive to something, you know, right there what caused it because you're slowly adding them in as opposed to starting everything at once. And then maybe your body tells you, gives you some feedback and you're like, now what? Then you got to start all over, kind of do the whole elimination thing. So start cool. slow, add them all in. Advice, good advice. Yeah. All right. Awesome. If that's it. Yes. I jumped on late, got E3 super reds. Can I add essential? Yes. E3 super reds, essential aminos can all be combined into one if desired. Some ingredients overlap, so you can split them, but it, you, again, it's about what works for you and your schedule and getting everything in. Okay, guys, that wraps up our Monday. Yes. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next Take week. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye now.